Hello, Stefan. Great to see you again. Hi. Nice Hi. You. Hello. After our meeting in Belgrade um, this spring. And yes, so we are coming back to Belgrade and I would like to um, briefly introduce our speaker. Uh, thank you for accepting this invitation. Um, Stefan Vukovic is a curator, art historian and philosopher. He has studied art, history and philosophy at the Faculty of Philosophy uh, of the Belgrade, Belgrade University, art theory at Jan van Eyck Academy in Maastricht and art, public, uh, art in public space at Bauhaus Dessau. Publishes texts on contemporary art. For, uh, from 1992, he got awarded the Lazar uh, Trifunovic Award for the best text on art in Serbia in 1998. Curated freelance from 1996. Um, he curated dozens of exhibitions. I just will mention a few of them, um, like the Second Yugoslavia Biennale in 1996, Balkan Consulate Mission Belgrade. Um, when I open my eyes, I see film in Moderna uh, Galleria in Ljubljana uh, and Museum of Yugoslav History Belgrade, among others. And uh, just recently, Death to Art, Long Life Art uh, in 2020. He is also the editor for film and video at the Student Cultural Center in Belgrade. And his presentation today will be devoted to emancipating and emancipators, new artistic practices and Yugoslav feminism. So, Stefan, thank you again for joining us and the floor is yours. Thank you. So, OK, so can you see the presentation now? We could see. It. Oh, yes, now we can see the presentation. Yes. OK. Yes, everything is OK. Uh, so basically, some of the things that I will be talking about are related to the place where I'm currently working, which is the Students Cultural Center in Belgrade, uh, because one of the key moments in uh, neo-feminist uh, 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 history was happening there in 1978. So I will try to uh, connect two events. One was the uh, exhibition, the new artistic practices in mm, uh, the same year in, in uh, the Gallery of Contemporary Art in, in Zagreb with uh, that uh, exhibition and to try to see how uh, these two things related to the uh, uh, at the moment. So. The, the person who is kind of a, a, one of the main connecting points between two, these two exhibitions is Boena Page. And uh, this is the cover image of the exhibition Gender Check. She uh, curated uh, in Mumok in Vienna in 2010. And uh, uh, the background of uh, the, 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 the whole uh, uh, the whole research she, she 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 did in both experimental visual arts and experiments in finding new language for neo-feminist uh, movements in uh, Yugoslavia at the moment uh, will be the topic of uh, uh, of, of 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 this this uh, talk. So. Uh, so, for instance, this is the uh, like the letter that she typed and signed by hand, uh, sending it to Marian Susovsky to the Gallery of Contemporary Art in Zagreb. Uh, her, uh, she was an assistant curator in the Students Cultural Center at the moment, and her role was to research uh, different types of artistic works on tape which meant uh, video, film, and whatever else, um, uh, to kind of a propose for, for this exhibition. The exhibition took place almost two years later, uh, but the, the, the background researches were very thorough. 
because this was a completely different type of exhibition in relation to what was previously uh, being uh, done in institutional frameworks of uh, Yugoslav uh, exhi exhibiting institutions. So before that, uh, before 1978 and the, 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 the the, the attempt to kind of uh, research uh, practices that were dematerialized and uh, 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 related to conceptual art, art povera uh, and non-formal art. Uh, the previous exhibitions that were kind of uh, uh, producing a paradigm of uh, uh, museal exhibitions were related to traditional media. So when the 50s or the 60s uh, were, were uh, uh, historicized in these institutions. They were historicized in uh, relation to different media such as uh, graphic arts, painting, sculpture, uh, and so on. So um, uh, concerning that, uh, uh, the, 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 the Gallery of Contemporary Art, which later on become a museum in Zagreb, did uh, uh, attempt to kind of uh, uh, scan these new artistic practices uh, of, of the late 60s and early 70s. Uh, it was more the, the Students Culture Center in Belluray that would be like the partner in doing that than the Museum of Contemporary Art in Belgrade, which was kind of the main national institution for that. Um, so uh, uh, this is uh, the, the list of uh, uh, works that she found uh, that uh, visual artists were kind of uh, uh, presenting so far in Belgrade. Uh, so you can see the names um, uh, uh, of artists related to film and video production within the framework that will be called uh, New Art uh, Practices in, in, in Yugoslavia. So it's Rasha Dvosivic, Marina Abramovic, Nesha Paribovic, Slobodan Shijan, Zoran Popovic, and some others, uh, uh, Nusha and Srećo Dragan, and some, there is also some projects that were not listed with all the names of the participants. Um, so as uh, what, what I will, uh, that noticed when I was reading this, uh, uh, when I was visiting the archives is that, um, uh, most of the video productions were done uh, outside of institutional frameworks of the local setting. So, for instance, uh, these um, uh, videos by uh, Nesha Paripovic, uh, Rasha Todosijevic, and Slobodan Shijan were done uh, in collaboration with Ursula Krinsinger and her private uh, gallery from Innsbruck. Uh, uh, the local setting did not provide with adequate uh, media equipment to do videos. So all the other works were mainly on film, except of Marina Abramovic, who already had contacts and who could get uh, production in other places. And uh, this kind of a coincidental types of uh, uh, collaboration, like uh, when the video heads came to uh, uh, the Students Cultural Center in Belgrade, uh, meaning Jack Moore, who was uh, basically like the, their front man. Um, so, so he collaborated with Rasha Todosijevic and uh, filmed one of his uh, performances on video. So uh, this is the, uh, these are kind of uh, pages from the catalog of uh, 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 the production that was going on in uh, something that was called the Artist House in Birdo in Istria in 1976. And this was the first workshop where local artists from uh, Serbia, Croatia, ex Yugoslavia, Italy and Austria could jointly deal with the, with the medium of video. And uh, like the first video works uh, done with, on the territory of, uh, uh, of Serbia uh, and uh, Croatia and um, uh, Slovenia were done there uh, uh, with, uh, with with the, the, the help of technicians that were also kind of uh, uh, 
uh, in our following this equipment. So this is uh, one of the works that was lost at the moment because uh, since the uh, uh, private gallery had a, an economic impulse to do that, so Slobodan so Sheehan made a, a project in the video framework which was called Media Suicide. So he was filming uh, himself and that's filming the projection of uh, on the on the TV screen of uh, 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 of the video of himself and so on until the uh, in in this loop until the end the 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 the, the screen came came to be completely blank so he never basically got this back because it was uh, uh, taken by the Austrian curator and, and uh, artillery Ursula Klinsinger, who provided with the, uh, with, the, with the whole setting of uh, uh, equipment, and uh, she, she took it for her own collection and she sold, sold some copy of it. So, uh, but this was kind of a, one of the events of uh, uh, establishing video production in, in the local setting. Uh, later on, as we will see, the main uh, uh, production facilities uh, will be local television centers in Ljubljana, Zagreb and Novi Sad. And you will see some of the uh, video works that were done uh, on uh, on television with their equipment. Uh, so uh, like some of the iconic works of the of the early 70s uh, by women artists in the in the framework of film um, are those by Marina Abramović and Nusha uh, Dragan. And uh, I will show just one minute of, uh, of, of work by Marina Abramović, which had uh, several uh, uh, versions, like on video, on film, and uh, with different durations and so on. So the title of the work is Art Must Be Beautiful, Artist Must Be Beautiful. And this specific version was done on film. Uh, on 60 millimeter film, uh, it was done by uh, uh, by uh, a British uh, uh, fi film director who came to uh, uh, show some of his neo avant-garde works in the Students Cultural Center. Then he decided to um, also film the local scenes to kind of to provide with local artists a certain. Uh, space in in a film project, so so they would mainly do uh, uh, film performances or just kind of a give art statements and so on. His name was Lutz, Beck, Lutz Becker. Uh, the whole film lasts for 45 minutes, and this is uh, part of Marina's uh, of Marina's. Uh, 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 performance. So I'm not sure that one can hear it. I don't know how to turn on the the sound for the video. But it's quite a known work and she just combing her hair and saying the art must be beautiful, artist must be beautiful. But I would really like to turn on the sound for it. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, uh, so let, let's go on. Uh, this is the, the second example of this early film experiments uh, by, by uh, women artists uh, within the framework that will later on be called the new art practices in, in, in Yugoslavia. Uh, the name of the artist is Anna Nusha Gra Dragan. Uh, most of the works she did, she did in collaboration with her husband, Srećo Dragan, but this is a solo work from 1971. And uh, it's kind of a quite uh, uh, related to the, uh, 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 to, to, to the American uh, 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 film and video art of the, of the times, like the semiology of Kitchen, for instance. And uh, yeah, on the left side, you, uh, uh, see the the uh, uh, what Yesha de Negri did uh, did write on the uh, on the context in which this this uh, the, this works did um, uh, emerge from. Uh, so uh, it was speaking in the first person. So most of these artists like Marina and. Anna Nusha were appearing in, in, in their works. Uh, it had, the, the works were supposed to have a personal, immediate and physical impact uh, without any intermediary or aesthetic objects. And it was always some kind of a process. And uh, uh, the, the, the whole uh, uh, setting was always uh, linked to the actual uh, theoretical debates of the times. So uh, let's see how Anna Nusha was, was doing it. The title is Comunicatia Gastronomia or Communications Gastronomia. So this is the cover page of the catalog, the new art practice in Yugoslavia, the English version. And uh, uh, on the left side, it's all also the short paragraph from text of Yesha de Negri. Uh, who was trying to contextualize this exhibition within the framework of uh, individual particip participations of some of the artists that were presented in the exhibition. Uh, so for instance, uh, the OHO group was participating before that in the information show organized by Kinaston McShine at the Museum of Modern Art in New York and some other uh, uh, Artists were participating in Documenta 5 and Documenta 6 in Castle and so on and so on. So he was trying to show the relevance of individual positions of these artists for the time being. And also uh, within the text that he was uh, writing for the, for the catalog, he was also showing the relation between this exhibition and some exhibition that took part before that, um, like, the, how, uh, li like the exhibition how the attitudes became form and so on. So uh, uh, it was uh, 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 like a, a struggle to show the uh, the position of uh, of local Yugoslav artists 
in relation to different types of new artistic practices in um, in those times. And the the very term, the new art practice, it is origin the title of the last chapter of Katrimiya's text uh, 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 that was related to conceptual art and was translated and published also in the Serbian language. It had a, quite a, uh, a big impact among the local artists. And uh, 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 Katrimiya was a close collaborator also of Biljana Tomic and Jeršat Negri. Uh, so she she uh, visited frequently the Students Culture Center and brought two exhibitions. One was uh, like a selection of of uh, of works from the Paris Biennial of the, from 1971 of the uh, works related to conceptual art, and the other one was uh, was related to uh, uh, male art and. Uh, 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 when she when she came to Belgrade, there were a lot of debates about uh, the actual uh, uh, currents in, in in art that were uh, uh, kind of uh, leaving the the objects and uh, relate were relating themselves more to to, to um, uh, processes and uh, the conceptualization of the position of the of the artist. Um, uh, so uh, this is uh, how Yesha de Negri did explain uh, why did he use this term, the new art practices, um, later on, uh, which kind of uh, came to be also the, the the title of that exhibition, saying that new suggests that uh, it's a case of innovative neo-avant-garde phenomenon, which is quite different to the previous art streams in the local surroundings like moderate modernism, informal new figuration, new constructivism, and so on. That the term art is meant to remove any doubts from the statement that it is quite a legitimate art, not uh, non-art or anti-art anti or something like that. And finally, practice explicitly stresses that it is the case of processes, operations, doings, performance of art actions and artistic behavior, and not on finalized and finished aesthetics objects like paintings, sculptures, as the techniques and genres of art that are still prevailing to our discipline. So this is part of the interview that uh, uh, me and Milica package did with Yesha Negri related to, to that uh, specific exhibition and how he uh, named it. Dakle, to je, ja mislim, jedan kapitalni ovaj, e, poduhvat i taj katalog ostaje prepun podataka, literature, raznih ocena o svemu tome. E, naravno da je Galerija suvremene umetnosti bila idealno mesto za to, sa puno dakle, razumevanja za ovaj poduhvat, jer su oni, kao što se zna u ostalom, bili ta matična ustanova koja je radila tih pet izložbi novih tendencija, I čak te pete tendencije su imali čak jedan sektor konceptualne umetnosti, imali su i konstruktivne, i kompjuterske, i konceptualne. Drugo, mladi kustosi koji su tamo bili i, i njihovi, njihovi stari kolege koji su vodili galeriju, kao Kelemen, Božo, Bek i tako dalje, dali su punu da kažem tu podršku da se ta velika izložba napravi ona je sve to istorizovala za ono vreme, mislim da ostaje do dan danas da. um, So related to the, the very title of, of the speech related to uh, the process of emancipation for me it was quite significant the text that Sonja Bliski u Zelac rod, related to the emancipating subject. And uh, uh, so she related that term to the uh, very first uh, actions from these new artistic practices, such as the, um, the, the, the red peristyl, where these three persons that you can see on the right side, they just paint the uh, uh, the, 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 the peristyle in split uh, at the Diocletian Palace into red uh, without 
announcing it uh, just as an action of kind of a transforming the space. And uh, uh, the, the, she uh, defined these uh, emancipating subjects as such, as open subjects following their emancipating in, in, intuitions at their movement through the art world. They are not tied to a specific object, medium or craft, so that the object, event or action are used as the means for changing themselves, their own world, but also the society. Tied to certain spiritual values as members and products of the modern urban culture, the urbanization, urbanization of artistic experience, uh, they are lonely individuals and actors of the movement, but as, but as exiles from the society, also possible stars of the spectacle of the Emperor of Traces. So, uh, 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 what uh, these kind of spontaneous actions of self-emancipating subjects did uh, produce were also some uh, independent spaces, like uh, uh, the franco panska space in, in Zagreb and Fodrum. Um, so uh, in franco panska uh, Bratso and Enad Dimitrievich, as an artist curator couple, did also produce an exhibition, uh, which was called At the Moment, which was later on uh, also presented in Belgrade with the title and another moment with the framework of uh, all artists that they were collaborating with, completely outside of, of the institutional setting of, uh, of, of uh, Yugoslav institutions of the time. And uh, the, the second uh, space was Podrom, which, uh, so, so uh, Franco Panska was used in 1971 uh, as, as a non-institutional space. Then later on, when the, the, this kind of a group of, informal group of six artists were, were founded, and you can see them on the right side under this um, uh, image of uh, the Franco Panska street. So, so they, they also made a, uh, okay, there was self-organized and self-managed space, which was called Podrum in Mesnička 12 in Zagreb, and uh, also did publish uh, fanzines, which were distributed completely outside of the framework of uh, contemporary magazines, uh, books, and whatever else. So. Uh, 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 the, their main fanzine was called May 75, because this, that was the uh, month when they were uh, formed. Uh, basically, the idea for their formation came from, the, uh, from uh, their individual visit to, to, to Belgrade, to the April meetings, which were the meetings of visual artists that were related to uh, uh, new media. And uh, they, they, they wanted to kind of produce a space of their own in, in, in Zagreb. And so it was, Podrum was the physical space and the media space was this um, uh, main 75 magazine. But uh, the, the most important thing for our uh, talk today uh, is uh, the, uh, one of the uh, issues it's issue F because they started uh, uh, naming issues of that fanzine uh, by the letters of al alphabet. And uh, Lasta Delimar said that she wants to do it. And she wants to do uh, in this kind of a boys business, <laughs> something completely different to do the F uh, issue related to feminism and to kind of invite only uh, uh, female artists who uh, were part of these new art, art practices, uh, but who had kind of a, a conscious uh, uh, standpoint towards uh, 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 the, the need to kind of uh, um, explore gender relations in art and society. So these are some of the works published there. So it was just Xeroxed set of uh, uh, of works. So some, sometimes artists would uh, produce the work and it was just copied, or they would play with 
with the with the with the pages like uh, like Duba Duba Sambal has did kind of put a uh, she she penetrated into the page by this kind of a pin and so on. And uh, uh, this uh, issue, which was kind of quite insignificant because it was kind of just a fanzine that that was distributed only to personal addresses of some artists by post, and it never came to be uh, at, at, at the time when it was published uh, a matter of discussion by art professionals such as art historians and curators. But still, it, it did make a, 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 a like a, a point that was quite important for the uh, for the for this new art production of the time, and uh, it kind of uh, attempted to uh, restage some debates that were going on in several previous decades. Uh, the problem with the local uh, uh, heritages of Feminism is this discontinuity. Uh, so uh, here is the like the, the 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 quote saying that if there is continuity in the waves of feminist and women's organizing in Yugoslavia and in successor countries, then it is the detection of discontinuities in women's history as well as in women's history writing. Position of the latter is still on the margins in margins in relation to mainstream cultural practices and their communication codes and channels. So the memory of women's struggle is always under threat of being lost and plunged into the underworld of historical oblivion, after which it would take a conscious effort to be drawn out by the new generation of authors. So, so here we, we can see like one uh, very influential magazine, which was called Women in Struggle. Uh, it was uh, the, uh, the, the, the magazine published by the anti-fascist front of uh, Croatian women uh, during the, the Second World War, during the appraisal and the anti-Russian struggle. Uh, and on the other hand, you, you see this kind of a, a poster for the conference that we will be talking about next. So uh, kind of a, there, is a, there is several decades of discontinuity between these two uh, attempts to put the position of women as active subjects on the uh, on the on the political agenda. Uh, so the Women's Anti-Fascist Front was a very powerful organization. So they had about two million members uh, during the Second World War, and a lot of them were uh, active fighters, and uh, a lot of them kind of were uh, uh, kind of a. Uh, became national heroes uh, after the Second World War, so they, they got this. this. But um, from 1953, uh, uh, from the, the, the moment when the, 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 uh, the state was kind of uh, stabilized and the, the war was over and the, the reconstruction after the war was over, uh, the, 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 uh, the Women's Anti-Fascist Front was um, abandoned as a concept so it became just like a small part of the of, of the network of socialist uh, uh, organizations and uh, a lot of researchers were dealing with uh, with, with that history saying that uh, AFG uh, or uh, Women's anti fascist Front uh, was killed two times once once in 1953 when it was abolished by the, the, the Yugoslav socialist state, and later on again, when kind of the nationalist states uh, uh, were, were made on the territory of former Yugoslavia, when uh, this kind of uh, uh, even titles of Afezhevka or Partizanka came to be uh, like a pejorative words. So uh, this is the way how uh, former activists and uh, uh, kind of a uh, very struggling magazines uh, came to be re redesigned. So, uh, uh, so, so this Ukus uh, was published by AFG just before it was it was kind of uh, dissolved. Uh, so it, it went from 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 
anti-fascist struggle to fashion, and uh, uh, women in struggle came to be a woman, like Jena Borbi came to be Jena, and then Praktična Jena. And what we can see here on the on the front page of this uh, of this magazine is Nedo Kraden, who was uh, as a very young uh, populist singer. So she was uh, she she recorded a lot of uh, partisan uh, songs, and uh, here she is kind of a, like a turbo folk star, uh, completely devoid of any political agenda. So, uh, in 1978, in the Students' Culture Center of Belgrade, uh, a set of uh, activists uh, decided to invite a, a lot of uh, uh, feminist activists from uh, mainly Europe, but also from the United States and Australia, and uh, to make a conference on the position of women at the moment, which was called uh, comrade woman of Brukza Zsen. So the level of this course is amazing. So Yasmina Tesic uh, 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 recorded that on film and uh, uh, some of the uh, of the talks that were going on and I would really like you to to listen to to, to this contribution. There are many, many different angles both of analysis and strategies um, and I would even suggest that the strength of the women's movement comes from the diversity of different strategies and analyses which constantly inform each other and challenge each other um, and develop understanding um, in quite a dynamic way. So there are groups like radical feminists, revolutionary feminists, anarchist feminists, socialist feminists, women in left-wing groups or other groups which would, who would also call themselves feminist. And then within the movement, there are a whole variety of issues. For example, rape, contraception and abortion, marriage, racism and fascism, which is one of the strong points being debated in the movement at the minute, and with lots of women's groups um, organising resistance to the racist and fascist forces that are stronger in Britain. There are so this is how the the conference looked like. Uh, and there were really uh, like very heated debates about different issues, even on the position of uh, uh, men in, in in feminist movements. So uh, it was kind of a quite astonishing uh, the, the way how local feminists did also kind of a, a fight for the right of of men to become feminists. So perhaps a little bit more. And this brings me to two of the, the questions that I want to, I want to, to, to raise problems um, or suggest to you areas of problems that we have in three areas. One is a question to do with um, Marxist theory and Marxist strategy as in general, um, which I think is important because the dramatic interaction of the left with the women's movement um, has its own particular history and which I think is not uninformative to the sorts of struggles that you engage in here. Um, then I want to talk a little bit about the 60s and what the effect of those years actually were with the student movement and in terms of education and how in a sense that suggests some of the, the way that it was articulate, educated women who came forward a lot initially. I mean, education played a very large role in enabling women to come to certain questions. So besides uh, uh, having these kind of political discussions, there are also sets of exhibitions related to um, uh, advertising and uh, the use of women in advertising related to uh, women's work in the, for, in, the, in, the, in the field of visual arts, but also there were uh, projections, projections of, of films and video works. And uh, this is just like a short except of, uh, uh, from the work of Yasmina Tesic, who did actually uh, film also these uh, this, this, this debates 
who was at the moment living in Italy, and she also brought a lot of I- Italian activists to the to, to to this conference, and this was part of the of the video segment of her uh, multimedia performance related to the topic of the conference. So you could see the, the, the books by Alicia de Garay and, uh, uh, and so on. So, so the, like most of these participants were really into kind of a conceptualizing their uh, everyday activism uh, uh, in the theoretical frameworks of the time. And here on the left side, you can see the uh, list of uh, films and, and video works that were, that were shown uh, during that occasion. Uh, what came out of that conference was quite significant. Uh, uh, it was the uh, feminist uh, research group called Zane Drostvo, or Women in a Society. So on the, on the right side, you can see the, uh, like the, the, the generic poster uh, of this research group. So uh, there is there are kind of empty spaces where I could just write the, 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 the topic, the, the name of the speakers and the date. And they were in first in Zagreb, then in Belgrade, then in many other centers. They were meeting, these groups were meeting once a week and discussing the, the role of women in society and the way how to uh, activate uh, all, all, all those women who uh, were kind of pacified by the patriarchy of the time. So one of the uh, visual artists that was an active member of this group, Women in Society, was Sanya Vekovic. And uh, she was quite frequently uh, saying how important for, for her was to, to kind of uh, have all these debates. Most of these uh, women that were kind of uh, participating in these uh, meetings were uh, academics like sociologists, philosophers, and so on. But as Sanya, there were also some artists who were trying to kind of uh, uh, introduce uh, these topics into their, uh, the, their work. So uh, this is a very long work of hers uh, called Personal Cuts. That came out directly from this um, Oh, I'm sorry. How can I not go back? Okay, here it is. So something went wrong. Okay, this is a very long work, so perhaps you could see it somewhere else. Uh, uh, also uh, uh, related to the, the, the Serbian art scene, one of the uh, active feminists uh, uh, of the times was uh, Ileta Shalgo. So she came from the field of literature and she did poetry performances at the beginning and then um, she she came to do uh, also uh, video art. So uh, Ileta Shalgo was uh, uh, using the premises of the uh, Novi Sad television to do uh, her, her video works as well as the, the Zagreb Television Center was uh, uh, was was giving premises for the for the the artists as 
sa nje vekovic. So this kind of a, a, a video productions were kind of a part of the of the of the local media uh, uh, production. 